I'm working on this tool project where I'm recreating Bronze Age woodworking tools, and I'm using this uh, tin bronze, a straight tin bronze, and I've been having a devil of a time working it. I've been shattering it and tearing it and uh, as I'm trying to forge it. And so um, in case there's anybody else out there that is working on a similarly weird project, I thought I'd post this because I just figured it out and it's really helpful. Uh, the thing about annealing tin bronze is you have a very tiny window of temperature uh, b between you haven't annealed it yet and you've burnt it. So this is what it looks like. I've actually, I'm working on it outside my shop, but I've come into my shop because in here I can turn off the lights and that has made a huge difference. Now I'm torch annealing. And I don't even know that this is going to show up on camera. Let me put this over here. So the trick is to not put the heat in any one place. Kind of heat it evenly, and this is really thick. So I've been heating both sides as I go, and that's been really helping. starting to get hot and the reason now you're going to see why we're doing this in the dark i don't know if you can see but the end of that is just glowing and that's what you want you want it to be just barely glowing and look if i turn the lights on you can't see that it's glowing see that so i've been that's why i've been doing it in the dark because it just needs to just be the dullest cherry red and I can and I see that's coming up on camera and that's as far as you want to go I was trying to anneal it in in the brightly lit shop and uh, by the time it gets that brightly red you've gone too far but you can see now that it's just it's oh, there we go it's just a very dull cherry red. And I've been starting at the end and heating the end and then drawing the heat down, down this piece of rod. All right, now I'm going to go out and quench now it. Now you can see it's not glowing anymore, but it still is very, very hot. Here's the other thing I've been really struggling with is that bronze is not steel. And so I haven't really known what to listen for. And so I'm going to see if you can hear. What I'm going to try and do right now is I'm trying to flange this tip out. I'm trying to forge it out to make the cutting edge and it's gonna kind of make a thud, and then it's gonna start ringing. And I don't know if you can see, it's starting to get kind of shiny there. See that? That is what I've learned the hard way. That means that it's work hardened and you should stop hitting it. Now up here, it's not work hardened yet. So I'm gonna actually work harden the whole shaft this is gonna be a chisel.
gonna take these corners off so they don't, they aren't as sharp. Cause I don't need those sharp. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know if the film, if the video will show it, but it's kind of gotten shiny. And that's where the, the smooth face of the hammer is actually burnishing it. And that tells me, okay, now it is getting close to being work hardened and I need to stop. And I wasn't doing that before and I was just shattering it. So it starts to ring a little bit and thud less and it starts to get a little bit shiny and your hammer kind of bounces differently off of it. So I hope somebody out there, if you're trying to forge a little bronze and having a hard time, I hope this might help you out. Uh, it sure has been a big learning curve for me. All right, keep making stuff.